epicranial aponeurosis, frontal belly of occipital frontalis, occipital belly of occipital frontalis, temporoparitalis, and deep to this would be temporalis. If I shift it slightly, just to get a little better angle here, we can see orbicularis oculi, orbicularis oculi, there is the orbital part, there is the palpebral part, your eyelid. We have nasalis, levator labi superioris, the lifter of the lip from the top side. Zygomaticus minor, zygomaticus major, orbicularis oris, this was levator labi superioris. That makes this depressor labi inferioris. Mentalis, these are cut mentalis at your chin. This is depressor anguli oris on a slight angle. Rhizorus. You can see a little bit of platysma right here. Remember, this is the big one that comes down the neck like this. We have buccinator and we have masseter. Sternocleidomastoid, sternocleidomastoid process is up here. Sternocleidomastoid, that's the big one you see when you turn your head from side to side if you look in the neck. If I remove this, we can start to see some of the ones underneath that are actually pretty easy to find. These three right here are the scalenes, and the names are pretty easy. Anterior scalene, middle scalene, posterior scalene. Anterior, middle, posterior scalene. Posterior to that, we have levator scapulae, then splenius capitis, and then we're getting into the trapezius which actually becomes one of the muscles of our upper back, but it does go all the way up the neck, trapezius.